Welcome back to Blender for Blogs video editing series where I'm going to teach you how to use Blender to edit videos for your blogs or your project or whatever you are working on. If you want to check out the promo video to see everything that we're going to be doing, I'll leave a link to that in the post. But this video is about the workflow that I use to edit videos in Blender. So I'm going to start with a bird's eye view of the whole process, kind of a big picture uh, looking down on everything that I'm going to do from start to finish in chunks. And I'm going to do it in layman's terms, just really easy to grasp concepts. Um, the first thing that we're going to do is import all of our footage and our audio. Fairly straightforward. And then we're going to cut out anything that we don't need from what we imported. After that, we then isolate the subject. Now this is if you are using some sort of green screen or doing some chroma keying, you need to remove the background or do masking. This is the next step. So we isolate the subject so that we can overlay it on a background and other things. Now you can actually skip this step if you don't have a background to remove or any chroma keying to do, um, in which case you would just move on to the next step, which is to add our visuals. These are all of the visual effects that we want to include. Things like text, graphics, um, videos if we want to add videos, transitions, any animations that we might want to add. This is where we add those. And basically this is the core of video editing. This is going to take us the most time. So after we've added everything we want to add, then we test it. And we test. we can test pieces of it and um, render them out and see if we like them. We can then also test the whole thing. And as we do this, we're gonna be tweaking things. Um, so uh, maybe trying to get our timing right with our animations, or maybe we wanna um, change a, the way a, a, a graphic looks or change the way a picture is placed. This is where we are testing and tweaking. And then after we've gotten everything just as we want, uh, then we render it out. So um, this is the basic big picture bird's eye view of the workflow I use when I'm editing videos in Blender. So we import, we cut, we isolate the subject, we add our visuals, we test and tweak it, and then we render. Now I typically do these things in four phases. So phase one is where we're going to import the footage. We're going to align the audio if we have external audio, and then we're going to make our cuts. So cut one is going to be our rough cut where we cut out all of the mistakes, everything that's big that we know right away we don't want. Cut two is um, more of a refined cut where we're kind of getting the timing right and we can even maybe go further into a cut three or cut four. I try not to do pass two, I might do a cut three, but basically just trying to get everything out uh, that we don't want and getting the timing right so it uh, runs together smoothly. Uh, and then we move on to phase two and that is where we remove our green screen, maybe do a little color grading. And then in Blender, we create what's called an image sequence. And an image sequence basically is just that. It's a an, an sequence of images. In this case, particularly images that have a transparent background. So since we've removed the background, we want to then overlay the subject on something else. And so an image sequence is actually very important to have that find control over the placement of your subject. And then we move on to phase three where we add our visuals, our text, graphics, videos, transitions, effects, or TGVTE if that is um, helpful for you, I don't know. And again, this is the core of editing like I was saying. And then finally phase four, test, tweak, and render it out. So this is what it kind of looks like in each of the phases, and this is how I'm going to be uploading my videos, phase one, part one, phase one, part two, and on and on. So putting the phases together with the bird's eye view, we have phase one is import and cut, phase two is isolate the subject, phase three is add our visuals, phase four is test, tweak, and render. And then if you want to see it comparatively with the length of time each phase might take, uh, here is the graph, I guess the, the bar for that or whatever. Uh, phase one takes the least amount of time because it's fairly straightforward. Phase two is quite a bit longer because it 
involves color grading and chroma keying, which is sometimes trial and error and a lot of tweaking. And then phase three, like I said, is going to take you the longest. This is the core of editing. So you're adding everything that you want to add in. You're adding your transitions and graphics and all of that good stuff. And then phase four is just a little bit longer than phase one. It is still fairly straightforward. However, there's more tweaking involved and um, there's also rendering involved. And just the fact that you have to wait for your tests to render out can take up a little bit more time. But this is kind of how my editing workflow looks uh, regarding the length of time for each phase. And like I was saying before, um, if you don't need to isolate your subject, remove that background, you can actually skip phase two and that's gonna save you a lot of time. So once again, big picture, you import, you cut, you isolate your subject, add your visuals, test and tweak, and then you render. That is my Blender video editing workflow. So with that said, let's get to it.